Welcome everybody to a really early morning. I thought I overslept. I have to go to my truck and be there at a specific time this morning, 6 a.m. And I am like 50 miles away from my truck. So I, I, I was planning on waking up at 10 o'clock at night, but I've been working so much. It's just like I was catching up on sleep and I didn't even realize I, back in the day, we had a thing called alarm clocks. They were pretty reliable. I mean, they got my butt up for school numerous times. Nowadays, we use our cell phones and watches for alarm clocks, and just sometimes it's not enough. It's, it's, it's two o'clock in the morning, and I just woke up. We're living right down the street here. Oh, and I still have to charge. It's gonna be a fast one today. A speedy charge. A really speedy charge. I mean, for a Nissan Leaf. I've gotten a couple comments in my videos. Uh, maybe two. Uh, you know, and then you respond and then they respond back type things. Um, if somebody was willing... Some, well, not if. Somebody was willing to collaborate or something, if I remember. I don't know. It's early in the morning. Why was it early? Uh, that is an engineer for the Nissan Leafs and is looking for people to live in hot climates, you know, and uh, I thought that'd be cool, man, if I can get the liquid cooling thing in my battery pack and someone wants to give that a shot, I'm for it. But then somebody, I don't know if it was the same person or not, uh, was asking to do the Tesla thing. And the Tesla thing is, is to speed the Teslas up sometimes in the charging process, they will take a wet rag and then cover up the plug to kind of keep it cool because there's sensors inside. Let's say this was a Chatham or a CCS. There's sensors inside that say, hey man, the plug is getting too hot. Let's slow this down a little bit. And to stop from the pump slowing down, they'll put a wet rag on it to kind of fool the sensor inside. And uh, somebody wanted me to, do that on my car and I use the adapter now because there, like I said there's no Chatamos in our area no Chatamo no Chatamo no chat none of these have Chatamos only 350s and it's like that everywhere so I use the adapter and I don't know and I don't believe that the adapter by Sixpence EV uh, or A crane or whatever you want to call it it's all the same adapter, same company, just multiple names. Um, has an IP uh, water resistance rating or anything like that. And they asked me if, uh, well, they didn't, but the person in the comment section asked me if I would mind doing a wet, a, a wet rag test and a non-wet rag test to see if the speeds are different. I had to put down, I, I'm not going to do that. I, I, I don't mind doing it if I found a, a Chatamo. You know, because so, there's still some old EV goes out there that still have Chatamos on them, some charge points. Uh, and and with the charge points, like if I was over at Hyundai right now and using the Chatamo, it's broke. But I mean, if it was working, I usually get about 48 kilowatts. That's the top speed. And you know, from this video right now, like right now I'm at 69. And so it's starting to drop. But the speeds go up in the 70s. Chatamos, they rarely do. We have one pump about 100 miles from here that does do it. So if I did it on the Chad mode to see if I cooled it down, if it would speed it up a little bit, I would do that. But I'm not going to lay a wet towel. If I, man, I only use a towel as if it's raining. I'm trying to keep the adapter dry and not get it wet. So no, I am not going to do the Tesla thing with the adapter. I'm not going to, because there's no reason to. I just got up to 74, I think, 73 or 74. I, I don't remember what I did at the beginning of this video. That's about as fast as really I've ever had with this car anyway. I know it could do 100. It never does that, though. It's usually in the 70s. And I don't think putting a wet rag on the adapter would really speed it up anymore. I, I just don't. And even if it did, I don't know if I want it to. 70 is good. And then let it drop. Let it drop like it's supposed to. Also, like when it's not raining, like at two o'clock in the morning, 
and it's a pretty Florida evening. I leave the lid up. You know, sometimes I'll put the, the, the towel right there and then I'll close the lid a little bit and kind of make that umbrella and it keeps the rain off of it. But because it's so nice out right now, nice little soft breeze, cooling breeze, if you will. I think it's better just to let the breeze flow through. And uh, yeah, it's not even, there's no temperature on it at all. It's just nice, it's perfect. So yeah, I don't think, uh, you know, that's that's witchcraft. That's that's electronic witchcraft. That uh, I don't I don't want to do. Till the next time, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.